Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Shinnery767. Hope everybody's having a blessed, successful, and wonderful day today. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Shinnery. My YouTube channel is about vlog, lifestyle, and everything makeup. If you're audible, good is always good to have you back. Thank you so much for your countless love, support, and blessing for all the year. So today, makeup, I'm just going to do um, a recreate of one of my Christmas um, 25 days of makeup. I was requested to recreate this look, so this is the first makeup application I'm going to do for this year, 2025. So if you're interested in this type of video, then keep on watching. Watch it. Happy New Year everybody, it's so good to be back making video on YouTube. I already defined my brows and prime my lid and set it. Hit the time card on top, it will take you back to the video right in details. I'm show you how I define my brows. The first thing I'm going to start off with is I'm priming my face with my e.l.f. Puff Primer. This is absolutely amazing, super affordable and worth the hype. Once again, I was requested to do this makeup application on Instagram and it took me a while for me to finally do the video, but I always know that I have to um, do it because I get several requests to do this um, video. I absolutely love this look a lot. It's really, really amazing. You can go clubbing, you can go dinner. It's really, really like a sultry um, type of um, look. Now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to prime my lips with Vaseline, which you, are, you all know that I love using all the time. And after that, now the eyeshadow palette I'm going to use is actually from a gift. Hit the time card on top to take you direct to the video where I got this eyeshadow palette and several other gifts. Um, it took me a while to remember which eyeshadow to use. As you all know that, um, I never plan my look. I always pick up an eyeshadow palette and just go with the flow. So that's why it takes me a while, but um, as soon as I open the palette, or oh, I, I remember exactly what eyeshadow that I use. And confession, I do have to go back and, and watch <laughs> the picture again to remember which eyeshadow that I was um, going to um, use. So I absolutely love this palette. I'm going on vacation soon and I really feel like taking this palette with me and I'm torn between three other palettes. Um, I in denial, but I more want to do like a, a soft tone look for vacation when I go on vacation very soon. So the first eyeshadow I'm going to take, I'm just going to apply it at the outer part of my lid and then I'm going to drag it to the inner part of my lid. So this is what it looks like once I blend everything. I start out from the outer and work my way in the inner. I'm just showing you what it looks like. Um, I throw the, well, I misplaced, I should say, the paper that comes with the different names, but I think I have an idea. So the first eyeshadow I use is Everybody Darling. Now the one I'm going to use is Embark. And this is like a dark brown um, eyeshadow and i'm just gonna pack um on the outer and go only in the crease area with this i just wanted like a more darker tone that's the theme that i'm going for The, sec the third actually eyeshadow is 
flamboyant um i absolutely love 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 this color it's so 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 pretty um you see my first expression i'm trying to figure out what black spots are on the eyeshadow but it must be a um a liner that fall on it or something but when i was applying this right now eyeshadow i remember exactly my thoughts um, when I was creating this look back in December, I find this eyeshadow was so boring. I mean, like, it was so dry. It's not giving what it's supposed to give. I mean, it's giving in the palette, as you can see, but on the lid, it's not giving what it's supposed to give. And that was my exact um, reaction when I first tried out this eyeshadow. Then, I take my um, setting spray, which you're gonna see in a few minutes. I'm going to spray my brush, and then I'm going to um, reapply that exact same eyeshadow. And it, it, you're gonna see how it's really, 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 really pop. and you're gonna see a before and after and basically compare the two look at this wet and dry oh my god the wet is so much better i feel like it was first it was dehydrated and i give it some water and it come back to life so that was exactly how i was feeling when i had did this look back in december so if you are just signed out into makeup or you have no idea how to make your shimmer eyeshadow pop more um this is the way you um just spray your brush through setting spray and then reapply the eyeshadow and boom there you go now the last eyeshadow i'm going to use from this palette is what's the pointlism now this um i really trying to remember the names i have to go online to see if this palette even um available but as i mentioned i did misplace offer with the clear plastic on there that has the full names of the eyeshadow the names are on the back but it's so confusing to read so i really hope i'm giving you the exact names on there um, um this eyeshadow i'm just gonna apply it on my um highlight area my brow bones then i'm going to use my liquid um black eyeliner for Anastasia this eye pencil a white one I'll give it a story about this one and then I'm going to use my um, lashes for Kinsia um, this, uh, I'm on my last set so I definitely need to restock and as you can see my first expression I really didn't like it I didn't test it shame on me but hey I've been searching everywhere for a uh, liquid white eyeliner i go wonderful world i go sasha mac um i couldn't find any liquid eyeliner so i say let me just buy a white eye pencil from wonderful world to see as as you can see it did not work so i'm taking my anastasia lip palette i'm going to use my primary color in white and i'm going to take this brush from um morphe this liner brush and i'm going to, going to use that to um line my eyelids so the foundation i'm going to use is from maybelline in free for zero and then i'm going to take my elf as you can see it's almost done <laughs> It's almost done, so I'm still trying to fight to get a little bit of this um, concealer. And yes, the look come out exactly how the picture, um, how the picture was the last time. So I'm really, really happy about that. So. <music>
so I was just spitting up the video a little bit and uh, the lip palette from Anastasia that I just show you I just a heads up um, if you're looking for this palette this palette is discontinued so they don't make this palette anymore just a heads up So my two setting powder I'm going to use is from Sasha and Buttercup and this Maybelline in medium deep. I'm going to use the Buttercup first and then I'm going to use the Maybelline um, right after it. Now you can mix it or you can use it one after the other. It's up to you. Sometimes I mix mine, sometimes I use it after the other. <laughs> it's up to you, <laughs> your preference. Then I'm going to take my um, finishing powder from MAC and this one is called Dark. Sorry, I accidentally didn't show you. I thought I did, but I didn't show it to you. So this is what I'm going to use all over my face where I didn't um, use my setting powder. Next, I'm taking my um, bronzing powder from Morphe in a Big Shot. I absolutely love this. I have this for a very long time. I love using this bronzer from, for the fall, for Christmas. I mean, it's a price, but it's worth the price and you get so much product. And I have this for almost maybe two years. <laughs> um, I really do have this for a long time now and it's worth the price and you get so much product out of it. The next I'm taking my blush palette from NARS and also I have this as a gift um, as well to get the name. I think this one is called New Fling or Give It Away. If I'm not telling you the correct name, I do apologize. I'm still trying to figure the names of, on this palette. This palette is called Expose. Then after that, I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Glow Sun Deep Kit. Basically, this is my highlighting. But first, I'm going to um, spray my face with my setting spray and then my highlighter. I recently started doing that again to give it that nice glowy effect. And you can apply the highlighter and then set your face and then reapply the highlighter. But I rather set my face and then apply the highlighter to give me that like that dewy glow effect. Yeah, so this is exactly what I'm looking for. And 
then um, the same step that I um, do for my eyelid, that's the same step I'm going to use underneath my eye. I'm not going to, I'm going to use um, eyeliner. The final step is mascara. For lips, I am going to use NYX and this one is called 804. I'm trying to find the name, but I, all I've seen is 804. So this is what I'm going to use to line my lip. lips. I've been using NYX um, lip liner for a very long time. I have a bunch of them. <laughs> That's the only lip liner that I really like actually after MAC. NYX is affordable, then MAC is a pricey side, but it's really, really good. The next, I'm going to take um, Anastasia Beverly Hills um, liquid lipstick, and this one is called Chrome Red. Absolutely love this lipstick. Oh my God. I love the matte finish and what it looks like after I apply this lipstick. Oh my God. It's really, really amazing. This lipstick I got when I was having, I think, their Christmas special or the, the Christmas gift box that I got for a while now. So, yeah. And then, a uh, all but goodie lipstick of mine is the MAC from Dance With Me. And that is the final look. Sorry, I didn't um, show you how I apply the lipstick. The mirror or the palette cover it i do apologize thank you so much for watching until the next time <laughs>